Hello from Chinesia.com. This is Mark Josie. Today will be a um, another review on the air gun right here. Yes, you can see. Quote peacemaker. Wow, everyone was looking forward for the thing. Single uh, action army pistol. Uh, sorry, not pistol. Uh, revolver. So everyone was like asking me, Hey, will you get one of these? Will you do a review? So there it is. Um, air gun source just got their gun in stock this week uh, Monday and then they shipped it out and somehow Canada post delay and uh, fuck it so yeah <laughs> it came here Friday that's kinda late um well they ship it out Tuesday and it's supposed to come on Wednesday and then it dragged and then it dragged so yeah anyway so that, that's what happened with Canada Post these days it's really slow anyway so the box came in and um, everything feels very heavy before I opened the box so it was kind of a surprise because I thought um, hey this is supposed to be a very lightweight you know look look at this very slim very lightweight kind of gun when I hold the box I was kind of surprised by how heavy it is and I thought hey my spare shells might have been put in there that's why it's so heavy when I open up the gun the box it's only a gun inside there's no spare shells I try to like look around okay there's the gun I look around there's no spare shells what the heck okay damn it all the spare shells are back ordered <laughs> that's sad but it's so heavy uh, compared to what I was initially thinking about now this is the manual which no one will read so um, that's right there's nothing inside the box beside a piece of uh, bubble wrapping which you, no one will need and also this which you can just put there just for photography use you know one time and you'll toss it out anyway so this is the main thing let's take a look at the gun close up Wow, very sexy looking, eh? It looks like the ivory grip, but it's not. It's plastic, but it doesn't feel very plastic to you. In real person, it doesn't feel cheap at all. Honestly, if you do not, get, like if the person that you're handing, handing this gun to like this, okay? And you don't see here, okay? You don't see this. You give it, you give it to them like that, right? They just, you tell them it's, it's a real gun, right? So give it to them whoa <laughs> it does feel very real trust me they don't they don't want to mess with the trigger it's really realistic looking everything I mean like all the details the weight the vibe the feeling of the gun uh, the finish on the gun everything feels very realistic I'm not joking this is not like a toy gray kind of replica you know this is really awesome looking the um the finish on top the silvery uh, finish is not exactly like silver kind of like grayish whitish silver it's more it has a little bit of uh, nickel plated color to it it looks like a between very light champagne color to to silver color if you have one of those Smith and Wesson handcuff you will see it that's kind of the kind of uh, nickel plated that they, they put there so it looks really nice really not cheap at all it's not like those cheap um, chrome plated kind of finish this is this is very, very nice it looks like a uh, real nickel plated I don't know if it is genuine nickel plated or just paint or whatever but it looks really nice to me um, there's no way that you can tell me that this is a fake gun okay beside right here 0.177 cal so beside that markings uh, and the F mark uh, everything else look really authentic not joking even the sound do you hear that wow look at that <laughs> okay so um, and then when I when I look for the shells inside the box, there's no shells, right? So where's the shells? The shells are inside the gun. Okay, let me just show you. First, you need to go like that, and then open the thing, and there goes the shell. It's inside. You cannot turn it the other way. You can only turn it one way. So basically, you just rotate it. Okay, just let me get it right. And there you go. You see the shell inside. Okay, 
you have to get it on the right alignment and it will fall out so this is the show look like that very shiny very um, brass very brass okay and here there's the uh, o-ring or something like that I don't know is it an o-ring or some proper seal but this is where you put the uh, BB not from the front like the Dan Wilson. So basically, you go through the six uh, cylinder, I mean the six six holes, and there goes the shows. You see? Besides, if you don't want to do that, okay, slowly, right here, this ejection rod also works. Okay? Uh, my first try with the ejection rod was very scary because it totally popped that thing out and I don't want to do that. Okay, let me just show you, see if I can do it right here. Okay, so the thing is aligned, right? You see, it just flies out. Uh, the first the first time that it flies out, it was, you see, that's the problem. Where's the show? Okay, there we go. Okay, so the first time it flies out, it was like whoosh, and it flies out all the way. So it was kind of like a surprise. Okay, so... Everything on this gun is super realistic looking, period. And when I first got the, the gun out of the box, I cannot do anything. Like pull the trigger, move this, you cannot do anything. And I was like, shit, it's broken? <laughs> so, actually, it was put on safe. Now, where's the safety? Right here. Make sure that you pay attention to this button. Okay, now you see the red dot right there? This is fire. You have to push it over to see the white dot and that is safe so basically you and putting the thing back on fire mode is kind of pain in the ass so you really need to stick your nail inside and do it it's not a it's not like a quick button that you can go and then you know but it's okay so you don't need that anyway right and um besides that okay the ejection rod cannot be pushed uh you have to open this thing first to allow the ejection port to to press that uh, little rod out and also the holes must align okay now you can see it right so it's spring loaded it's working uh, that's the fun part because the fun part is every every feature on this gun it's working it's not like just mold it in the shell and you know that kind of thing right it's a really really nice replica if you really like this kind of gun i mean like everything feels like the, the real deal it's really cool um first thing first the iron sight is very unusable for me because it's very small and i have to like go oh crap okay finally i can see it and then you see the nerdy style of aiming and they go whoa it's really hard to aim okay so i was uh thinking about this and I was like hey how do you aim so I was trying to aim and then it was very hard to aim right so <laughs> there goes the joke so how do you aim this gun hey you don't aim with this kind of gun what are you talking about okay you go like boom <laughs> shoot from the hip right <laughs> like that but the thing is shooting indoor um safety is a concern right so you cannot go Okay, there's a target. <laughs> That's kind of scary to do indoor. So aiming like that with the iron sight is kind of hard for for some people like me with bad eyesight. Um, the the notch here is very hard to see because it's very very small, and uh, also the silver color of the iron sight right here on the post is not helping at all. So um, I guess like I should shoot some black target, something that darker color like maybe I'll stick one of these uh, that may do it okay so darker color will do okay so um, the weight of the gun wow you mean like whoo when you hold it you really do feel some weight there it feels really nicely uh, weighted too really like if you go like that you'll feel the gun want to drop down wow really cool very cool looking very cool vibe there okay so um, yeah I don't know how people spin it but Woo! <laughs> okay, like, woo! <laughs> anyway, so it's it's really it's really a nice uh, nice weight there. Um, okay, so the grip here is how you open it. This is where you open the grip, just like that. Very easy. Take it out, and then right here, 
this little thingy is the tool for you to poke in here and use as the tool for loosening up this uh, CO2 punching uh, screw, whatever you call that, okay? So basically you put a CO2 inside and today we'll be using Crossman CO2. Okay, I will have to leave the shooting to another video to do, but right now I just pierce the CO2 inside, put a drop of gamma gun oil there. Okay, basically any gun oil may work. Okay, so you put the thing in and of course you need to screw this a little bit out. Okay. The screw is kind of too screwed too much in inward. Okay, screwing it out. Okay, now there we go. Okay, as you can see, the CO2 sits in there nicely. Okay, it's very nice how they can fit this uh, CO2 in there in such a small space. Um, seriously, like it's not a big, big compartment, big grip. So it's it's a really nice fit there. Okay, now to to tighten it, I have to really do my last turn like this. And you can really feel the CO2 gets a little bit colder, which means it's enough. Okay. There is a little notch right here, right? So that notch is where you put inside here. Okay. So you put this in first and snap the grip back. There you go. Now the gun is gassed up. Let's take some empty shots and see how it sounds. Look, there's no shells inside. Seriously? It's, it's like firing nothing. It's so quiet. Okay, let me put a shell in and see how it sounds with the shells, okay? It sounds like no air is inside. It, it feels so quiet to the point I think the gun is not working. And also don't forget, you need to pull this a little bit back for, for you to be able to turn the cylinder. So I'm going to put the empty shells inside and see how it sounds. With all the shells, it sounds like nothing. I mean, like, it sounds like the gun is malfunction. It's not even going like, pop, 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 okay? So, it's a, it's a very quiet gun for sure. Okay, now that we're done, let's do a shot. A little bit louder. But still, it's very quiet. Super quiet, okay. So, I know you guys want to, like, see me shooting it, but... Um, as I said, this we're not going to do a lit, lot of shooting in this video. I'm just testing out the gun, uh, first day impression, that kind of thing. So I will load up six shells, do a little bit of close range target on the trap, and just to sh share with you my experience uh, of the loudness, uh, the the feeling of the gun, and so on. Okay. So to load this thing up, we have to. Grab some nice BBs. So here's the Daisy Avanti BBs, which is very high cost. Okay, Daisy Avanti BBs. These are very expensive BBs, and they're used for, for guns like the Daisy Avanti Champion. Okay, so... Oh, grab. It's so hard to load. Okay. So, first of all, I'm going to put some BBs on my palm to hold it. <laughs> and then I'm going to load it one by one. So... Put one there on the back. There you go, just like that. Okay, I don't know if you have more shells. I don't know if you like toss these around inside a box where the BBs roll out. Okay, I never know. But we'll try it out and I'll tell you guys in the future videos. So loading BBs one at a time is a pain in the ass again. So time to stock up some shells if you like the gun. It's really painful to load six shot like this and then shoot them one by one, okay? And that is why I got a lot of shells for the Dan Westons. It's, it's impossible to enjoy a gun like this. I mean, like, seriously, if, if Umarex want to make this gun fun for the shooter, I think, you know what, they should include six more shells. Seriously, like this, okay? Um, if you give them six shells only in the gun, the user have to fire six shells, take the shells out, and then plug the BBs in and reload again, right? If you give them 12 shells, okay, they can at least enjoy the moment of reloading the shells, and then after they're done reloading, they can go reload the 12 shells, right? That That's a different kind of enjoyment. So I think for the end users, if uh, like, I don't think it costs a lot for Umrex to give you six more shells. So I think 
that the best idea is, you know, just give them 12 shows, man, and it will be a nicer package. And, okay, not forget the whole stir bit. Anyway, that's too much to ask for. But I think, personally, I think including 12 shows is not too much. Okay, anyway. So, I'm going to take some shots right there and tell you how I feel, the sound, and so on. Okay? So, um, let me grab something there. As you see right here, I have a bunch of crap. Okay, let me try to... Okay, there you go. I got a, um, some garbage here. Okay bottle. I'm going to take two shots right there. The target first is to test my uh, aim. Okay, now standing at 15 feet range. Okay, aiming like a nerd. Okay, really hard to aim. Okay, right on the center. Very nice. It's very, very quiet. Very, very puffy. Wow, very, very nice. Look, this is my first two shots. Holy shit. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> it's so accurate. Holy shit. Double tap. Look at that. Okay. Now I feel very happy because this gun is accurate and it's not just a fun paint color kind of thing. Okay, let me put this here and see if I can put a hole in there, okay? So now I know where I'm shooting. It's time to take a shot at this bottle. Now it's very hard to aim. Okay, let me see if I hit it. Did I even hit it? Shit. <laughs> nope. Okay, let's do it again. No idea why, but maybe it bounces or whatever. I don't know. Let's try again. There we go. It's down. Okay, this is a... Budweiser, oh, sorry, not Budweiser. This is a liquor, li liquor bottle. Okay, you see, it went in. Okay, you hear it? It didn't go through, it went in one side, but this is very tough plastic. Like, it's very tough, okay? So I shot four shots, okay, two more. Shoot at the um, target again. Okay, I think we're out. Yeah. Yeah, we're done. Okay, so let me just uh, eject. Eject. Ooh. I really need to learn how to uh, eject this thing stylishly, you know? <laughs> Not easy. Okay, so all six shots are, are done. And my target. I place four shots rapidly. Um, obviously the first two shot is very nice. The two shot here I was just trying to goof around so um, just to get a feel of the gun, right? But I can tell you that from my shooting so far, the um, this gun is extremely, extremely indoor friendly. It's very quiet, it's uh, accurate, it's very realistic, and I would give this thing a 10 out of 10. Um, no, no joke, like it's not even Something that you have to think twice to give it 10 out of 10. It's really nice. Um, the shell ejecting part is very good. And some people will ask, well, um, do you have to buy the, the special shells for this gun? Will my old Dan Messon shell work? Well, seriously, I have the same question. So let me take some Dan Messon. Okay, Dan Messon shells. Okay, I'm going to load some of these up and see if they work. Okay, I'm loading two shots in there. Okay, BB's inside. Okay, let me grab one more BB. I'm gonna load two shells and I'm gonna fire it at the target. So, right here you see we got four shots, right? I'm gonna fire at this target and see if we can shoot it. So if I can aim and shoot at the target, then that means these things will work. Okay, so, load it, one shot, two shot. It works, it holds in there nicely. Okay, that, that is the Dan Weston shows. Okay. So, just a minute. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna shoot two shots and see if they can shoot properly. 
Okay, aim like a nerd. They do work. Yep, it worked. Woohoo, I'm happy. So now we got spare shells to use. Okay, so the damage and shells, they work. Let me go check them out. Now my next question is, will the damage and shell actually work on the other gun? Okay, here we go. Well, we got two shots right here. Two shots in here. You see right here? There's two markings, so there's two shots, and then we did one more shot somewhere here. So there's used to be four holes, and now there's five holes, and there's one shot here, one shot here, I think. So, yeah, it worked. So the question is, will the Emerson shell work? Yes, it will. <laughs> so it's a very nice and happy news for everyone who wants to buy one of these guns, because if you do have 10 missions, you can use your old shells. Very fun. Okay, anyway, so thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like, and don't forget to check out my second part of this review, uh, doing some shooting tests with accuracy testing, prinkling, and so on. Okay, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye!